Hi, I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach. And I've been called to create this special message for you because, oh boy, <laughs> things have been very crazy in the world. As you know, it's been chaotic and there's a lot of violence and just a lot of division and it's been challenging. It's been challenging for empaths, especially and sensitive souls. And the way I see um, a lot of people handling this is two different ways. So first of all, a lot of people who are sensitive just don't read the news and they put themselves in a little bubble and a cocoon, which can feel good for a very long time. And I understand why people do that. The problem with that, however, is that, uh, you know, we live in a world of polarities and we live in a world of division. That is what this world is, is polarities, black and white, yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Polarity energy is one of the lessons of being on this planet. So there's light and there's shadow. So if you try to keep yourself always positive and always like not in, in any kind of like hearing anything about the world that can bring you down or thinking about it, what happens is it doesn't mean it's not existing. It's just going more in the shadow, your shadow and the shadow of the collective. And eventually you have to process that in, in one way. So that's one way I see people dealing with the world. And another way, which is even more, it, it's so upsetting, is when I see sensitives and empaths like yourself, look at what's going on in the world and say, you know what, people are crazy and I don't wanna deal with anyone and I just wanna go in my shell and not deal with anyone. I just wanna, and there's another way of cocooning yourself. And I totally understand the need to be alone. I totally understand that because you must absolutely take time to yourself every day to process your emotions, to process your intuition, to understand what's happening inside of you. It's so important, it's paramount. However, what is so damaging about that is because you're an empath, you are energetically designed to emotionally connect with people. You need it like food, like nourishment and of course, because you're so sensitive that when any environment around you, whether it's personal or political, whatever that is, if it feels too intense, your instinct can be to shrink up your aura, to just put yourself in your own little space and in your own little world. And so what happens is when you do that, you are disconnecting yourself from your life force, from your source of emotional nourishment and then everything else in your life will kind of go astray because, because you're not being the shiny, ebullient self that you were born to be. Basically, when you do that, when you shrink up your aura, you basically like keep yourself from getting opportunities. You're not, you're not shining like the light worker that you were born to be because that's what you were born to be. You're a light worker, you're magnetic, you're emotionally intelligent and you're emotionally beautiful. And so um, if you're not connecting with other people also, you're just not gonna feel fulfilled. And I understand the challenges, right? when things around you are chaotic, when things in the world or your personal life feel negative or draining, you're gonna to want to just be in your own space. That is a protective mechanism, right? To create, um, to fill your aura with light and to sometimes if you don't want to expand your aura, you can bring it in so you're not taking in as much energy, but not at the expense of just shrinking and collapsing in on yourself because that's not gonna help anything and that can affect every area of your life in an adverse way. So I'm, I've created this for you so that you have some other tools, some other energetic tools where you can shine and expand yourself and be the light that you were born to be. And when you're shining your light and expanding your light, that is when you create positive opportunities for yourself. That's when you're connecting with people, which is what you truly crave. I know you think that you want to be away from people sometimes when things feel ooh, crazy outside of you, but you really do want to be with people, just the right people, right? Just people that understand you and feel good in your energy field. And the way to attract that is to be more of yourself and expand your light and shine your light. And by doing that also, you are bringing more light into the world. You're being the light worker that you were born to be. You know, you incarnated here for a reason. You have a very important purpose right now. 
and we, the world, the universe need you to be that shiny version of yourself, to be joyful, because that is what you deserve. So I do have some energetic tools or um, insight for you to maintain your happy bubble while you're still engaging in the world. So the first thing that I would absolutely suggest that you do, and this is paramount, is that you connect with like-minded and like-hearted souls. They are out there. I know it sometimes doesn't feel like they are, but they are. And when everyone around you seems like they're being negative, whether that's personal or political, again, whether that's just in your world or the world, it, there, it can feel like you're the only one who's experiencing what you're experiencing and everybody else is like X, Y, and Z. But there's, you're, you're not. There's, of course, you're unique in your own special way and yet there's still millions of people out there who are experiencing the same kind of feelings you do, who like the same things you do and who can appreciate you for who you are. So there's a lot of ways to connect with like-minded souls. If you're spiritual, maybe um, join uh, some kind of energy healing class or learn Reiki so you can connect with other people who really care about that stuff. Or maybe you wanna join an online class or community of um, people who feel or perceive the world in a similar way to you. And you know, there's just bazillion opportunities online to do that. And there's something called meetup.com you can go on and you can look for classes or interests um, for anything that you like. There's just so much out there. If you really look and say, I want to connect with like-minded and like-hearted souls, I know you can find it and it is important that you do. So whatever it is you're interested in, whatever it is that you feel is important to you, you can find people either in your community and or online that support you and, and really can nourish that, um, that sense of connectedness. Cause that's, that is absolutely paramount. That's your root chakra. You need to feel connected to a tribe. And that is what is going to help nourish you in every area of your life. Now, the second thing that is absolutely paramount is that you stay in your body. When things feel a little intense and maybe overwhelming or scary, sensitive souls, they exit, right? Like, you know, and there's that sense like you may even want to like leave the planet sometimes. I know you don't, you know, it like uh, metaphorically, right? Like, so what we do is we, we exit our bodies, right? Like we just... It feels too intense to be here. And so there's a part of our soul that's just like kind of hovering closer to the ethereal realm so that we don't have to actually be here. And that's something that a lot of sensitives do when they're like, I don't want to be on this planet. It's so hard. And, and you know, you could actually be hovering like pretty much outside of your body a lot without even realizing it. So it's really important that you set this intention to call your soul, to call your spirit back into your body. What I like to do sometimes is ask that it's cleansed in in ethereal light and cleanse in pure white light and call back all those soul parts and soul fragments to my body, my spirit. I imagine now that these parts of me are grounded, grounded, grounded and really anchored into the earth. So you call yourself back into your body You set the intention that you're going to be here and stay here until it's your time not to be here anymore. You incarnated here on this planet, in this body, at this time for a reason because you are a spiritual warrior. You are a light worker and you are very needed right now. And the more that you are really intending to be here and be in your body and the more grounded you are, the more you're going to enjoy being here. But if you're like kind of here and kind of not here, then you know your life is going to reflect that. But if you really set your intention, I'm going to be in my body, I'm going to experience my life on this planet in this time, and I know that I came here because I want to experience this and I want to enjoy it, you will enjoy your life so much more, okay? Now the third thing, is to exercise. 
When your feelings feel overwhelming, your energy can get stuck. Emotions are energy in motion, okay? So for your emotions to flow, for your energy to move through you, sometimes it helps if you're moving your body as well. And you know, have a little dance party at home, right? Nobody needs to watch. <laughs> you can just have your own dance party to uplift your spirit and you get your body moving. Exercise, walking in nature, jogging in nature, biking in nature, if you can, even better because nature, as we know, is like the greatest salve and the greatest nourishment to your body, mind, and spirit. And when you're in nature, you can run into the most beautiful creatures. You could see butterflies or dragonflies. I know I was jogging the other day. Um, something happened here in the world. <laughs> I went out for a jog just to help myself feel better, and I did. And I ran into a puppy. It was so cute. And like, you know, the when, when a puppy looks at you, with their adorableness and they just all they want to do they have no problem wanting to like be with as many people as possible right like they still think we're good so <laughs> we learn from puppies right and and it's just they bring you to the present moment so animals nature and any kind of movement and exercise that may have been two things but like they're combined right because movement sometimes involves being in nature where you run into wonderful creatures great and small now, the fourth thing that you can do that it can really, really help you so much is to meditate. Meditation's all about being in the present moment. There's different kinds of meditations. There's chakra meditations, which I love. Um, and then there's mindfulness meditations, which are more about emptying the mind. And there's all kinds of visualizations. There's meditation on a subject, right? So there's different ways to meditate and all of them are about being in the present moment. So you're not dwelling about the past or fearing the future, right? So especially with meditation, you have to focus on your breath. And when you're breathing and when you're resetting your nervous system and when you're being in that present moment, that's all there is is the present moment, right? Like the things you're afraid about in the future aren't happening when you're in the present moment. And by creating a more peaceful present, you're also creating a more peaceful future for yourself and for the planet. We don't need more fear, right? We want peace. So be that peace and practice presence, practice meditation and bring that mindfulness of breathing, of being in your body, being in the present moment, bring that to your daily life. So make every moment a meditation and mindfulness. Now, my fifth suggestion for you, you know, I feel like they're all super important, right? <laughs> Otherwise, I guess I wouldn't be saying them. Um, this is also like one of the most important is to do your work, fulfill your purpose. And I know when things get overwhelming, especially when the world looks kind of cray sometimes, sometimes you can go through this soul searching where you think, does this even matter? Is what I'm doing making a difference? Because we have from here to here to go and I'm just doing like this little part. If everybody did that, first of all, if everyone did what made them happy, the world would be a happy place. The reason people act negatively or violently or like project blame onto other people because they're not happy because they're not in their divine flow if everybody was the world would be like utopia right so if you're doing your part to make this world a better place whatever that means for you so maybe you have a desire in your heart to paint and you think well is that selfish with all this going on in the world for me to paint even if you're not doing it for a living but it makes your soul feel good it's really important to do that because we need more art and beauty in this world to make the world a more beautiful place right a more cultured place that brings joy to you and that brings joy to others who see it in every moment that you can create more joy is helping the world so if you have a desire to paint, if you're great at customer service and that is how you fulfill your purpose in the world is by making every single person you meet in your job and what you do happier, 
because they just had a wonderful transaction. They had a wonderful experience. Maybe you want to write. Do that. Maybe your purpose is to parent incredible children. We certainly need more incredible parenting in the world where we're teaching our children compassion and love and respect. Whatever it is, I guarantee you, if it brings you joy, if you feel like it can help even in the slightest bit, then do more of it. And do that knowing that whatever small actions you think you're making are having a huge impact on the world. And when you do these things, you feel more joyful, you bring more joy into the world, and you're, you're making the world a better place. You're being the light worker that you were born to be. So I hope that I've encouraged you to shine your light brighter, to be joyful even when things look challenging or feel challenging and to know that you are meant to be here and you are making a huge difference. So if you feel that this has helped you in any way, this video has helped you in any way, feel free to share it with someone who you feel it can help as well. I'm sure they will appreciate you for it and I want to hear from you. What do you do that helps you through negativity or chaos or confusion? Share it with us so we can all learn from each other. And if you do want some assistance, I do have a free guided meditation, positive energy and protection with the Archangels. The Archangels have helped me so much lift my spirit, heal my energy. And if that would help you too, you can get that for free using the link below. And if you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I have many more videos for you helping you in the future for all things divine. So I wish you a beautiful, magical, wonderful, present moment and many more. Lots of love. Bye for now.